This is an international initiative that coordinated the six cooperative groups across 12 countries that in a matter of about eight years has accrued 13,000 stage three colon cancer patients and randomized them to receive either three months or six months of H1, KFOX or FOLFOX. Now, the background lies in the fact that we know that FOLFOX chemo and its variant, the KFOX, affords about a 20% additional cure rate on top of what the surgery gives. The problem is that uh, the neurologic toxicity of this combination is pretty heavy, with about one patient out of two suffering from major clinically relevant temporary toxicity that may last, however, even years. And there is a 4 to 10% of irreversible severe neurologic toxicity. So, in the background, certainly there was our attempt to decrease this neurologic toxicity and leaving the efficacy almost unchanged. That was the reasoning longer than 10 years ago when we started this, uh, this study. We generated a, a hypothesis. Uh, we predetermined uh, the non inferiority margin and we have chosen a three year disease free survival as uh, the primary endpoint of the study, knowing perfectly well that uh, we would have looked uh, with much interest uh, also to the secondary endpoint, uh, most uh, important of them. Uh, is the five-year overall survival. So this study was already reported uh, uh, two years ago and published uh, on the New England Journal of Medicine two years ago uh, when uh, the primary endpoint was reported, that is a three-year disease-free survival. But that study generated a lot of uh, controversies, debates, because of the discrepancy between uh, the three-year disease-free survival curves uh, that ran one on top of the other, but the statistical analysis uh, saying that uh, non-inferiority could not be shown. So we were puzzled about that. Now it is so important, uh, the latest report at ASCO, showing the secondary endpoint uh, that is so important, uh, the overall survival. The results uh, were uh, as we expected, that is, uh, that six months uh, was not better than uh, three months, as indicated by the two uh, Kaplan-Meier curves of, a five of survival, being one on top of the other. They were so identical that you cannot even stick the light of a laser pointer in between the lines. So that uh, led us uh, to our immediate interpretation saying debate is over. Okay, there is no more issues. Three months uh, uh, to everybody. Now things are a bit more complicated than that because we predetermined also the non-inferiority margin for the five-year overall survival, and we just hit the point of non-inferiority so that the statistical analysis, again, failed to show non-inferiority, although common sense and immediate reaction show identity between the two duration. Uh, uh, period of, uh, of adjuvant therapy. So again, even the uh, discussant at ASCO agreed with our interpretation, the interpretation of the authors, uh, saying, uh, okay, uh, we are obviously playing the game of uh, uh, clinical research, and that has to stick to rules. 
But at the same time, when we practice medicine, we have to use common sense and we have to counterbalance whatever you can lose that may be a fraction of one or two percent with a threefold reduction in the uh, occurrence of a grade two, three, and four neuropathy. So the common conclusion is that uh, three months is so much better than six months. Not only that, there is a, a chapter two to this story. And that is uh, something unexpected. This is the nice aspect of clinical research. You, you started mm, with the uh, objective to show something and you end up uh, opening up a new avenue <laughs> and this new avenue was the unexpected interaction between uh, the duration and uh, the uh, uh, regimen type meaning that uh, in the, these uh, 13,000 patients uh, were treated with uh, Folfox, but also with uh, K-Pox, the oral version of the fluoroprimidine. And what was found uh, both in uh, the disease-free survival and overall survival, the primary endpoint and secondary endpoint, uh, is that uh, if you use uh, K-Pox, uh, three months uh, are okay, as uh, good as uh, six months. But if you use Folfox, that is okay only if the risk within stage three is low. Because if you have a high risk defined as either T4 or N2, then you have to use a Folfox for six months if you stick to the fully IV regimen of Folfox. So that was the other conclusion of the study. So if we want to summarize and make things easy for our clinical practice, we can divide our patients into three groups. Number one, and I'm talking of stage three colon cancer. Number one, the low risk. These are 60% of our patients, T3 and one. Okay, these patients should get three months of chemo, either K-box or Folfox, preferably K-box. I think that giving six months of chemo is a mistake. That is so strong, the conclusion, in this first category of patients. The second category is the other extreme, that is the very high risk. Very high risk is qualified as T4 and N2. There is a third category that is in between, and that is high risk, and that is T4 or N2. But when you get T4 and N2, then the common way of interpreting these results and the subgroup analysis and so on is to give six months of adjuvant chemo, preferably k -box. The third category of patient, and that is about 20 to 30% of patients, so this category is just 10%, the very high risk. The high risk, 20 to 30% of patients, should get either three months of K-POX, or if the patient is unwilling to risk of losing even one to 2%, then discuss at three months, and if it is tolerable, proceed and go on to six months. By distinguishing the patients into the low risk, high risk, and very, very high risk, I remind that very, very high risk T4 and N2 has less than 45, 50% five year overall survival with chemo. Now, if we grant the chemo a 20 to 25 percent uh, chances of long-term overall survival, that means uh, that that category of very high-risk patients has 20 to 30 percent chances of being cured by surgery alone.